What's going on guys, Kaivox here and welcome to a new wands day where we talk about some wands. Um, I show you guys some new wands. I'm gonna also show you guys a couple of subscriber highlight wands that I really liked. Um, so that's new, right, I think. And if you guys want to submit your wands, you can actually submit them for review because I do also do a wand review video, which is probably gonna be coming out maybe next week or maybe at the end of this week. We'll see how things work out for this video. That being said, if you guys want to submit your own creation for review on the other video, just follow the rules down below. I, I made some rules because it was just a disaster. People are just sending in all these crazy pictures. It's like in the dark. I have to use night vision goggles to try to see these, these drawings that don't e I can't even see. So anyway, I made up a couple of rules. If you don't follow the rules, I'm just, I'm just not gonna even like bother with it, all right? So the rules are down below. So if you guys wanna submit, just send them over to newwansday at gmail.com. Follow those rules and I'm gonna, we're gonna start doing it that way from now on, all right? I'm also gonna be showing you a TBF, uh, one of the wands that I haven't finished yet. So it's to be finished, right? I'm stealing some stuff from Mika Chi's book, TBR stuff. TBF, um, to be finished wand that I have been working on and I hope to finish it this week. I just wanna show you guys the process where I'm at right now. I'm gonna try to do that on a regular basis. And then also most likely with doing that, I'm gonna show you guys some tips and some things that I've learned from the step that I'm at at that point. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. And if you guys end up liking it, make sure to smash that like button, hit that notification thing too, if you wanna be notified for any future new wands days, which I mean, I hope you do. I hope you come back. So let's start off with the wand spotlight. The first one that I want to talk about was submitted by, um, I don't know if I could say their name. So I'm just gonna call him Johnson. You know, uh, you know who, I don't know if that's your first name or last name. Can Johnson be a first name? Here are the things that I like about this wand. Obviously it's a pommel heavy. It's about 12, it looks like 12 and a half inches. Um, based on their description here. Super simple design. That's really all you need. Oh, that's all you need for a wand. You don't need it to be super complicated. It was mostly made on the lathe, according to the creator, and I really have nothing to fault on it. It's a simple design. Simple designs are usually the best. You get too complicated, it starts getting just overdone too much. You don't really want that. You want something that has one simple thing on it. And I really have nothing to say about this. I just really like it. Props to you, son of John. And uh, that's it. Let's move on to the next. This one was submitted by Joe. So nice job, Joe from the UK. Here's the thing. It was your first wand and it looks excellent for your first wand. Um, one thing that I don't love about it, I obviously I love the handle. I think you did an excellent job with that handle. I do have plans to make something similar to that. It's just, you did a good job and that is not easy to do. You gotta be super careful. You did it all with a knife, super impressive. So color me impressed. All uh right. -huh. It just, it looks great. The th one thing I don't like about it is the blade. The, the, the beginning of the blade is too big towards, it, it just goes too fat all the way towards the end. I know it's not an extremely long wand, but I would have probably tapered that down a little bit more or made it a little bit more drastic how it tapers. Um, I don't think it flows as well with this wand because it has those flats kind of that you, you had, I mean, it looks great. Don't get me wrong, right? It looks good, especially the handle. That's one of the more impressive handles that I've, that I've, that's been submitted. Nice job for your first wand, came out great. You, you can do better, I believe in you. So go make another wand, submit that one and follow the rules down below. If you guys don't follow the rules, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be putting up wands that don't follow the rules anymore, so. If you don't see your wand in the next new wands day, then just assume that I was like, you know what? They didn't follow the rules, so I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> so the way the spotlight works is I just pick a couple of wands that I really like. So if you guys didn't see your wand, it'll probably be in the wand review video, okay? Maybe not though, like I just said before. So now let's move on to new wands.
So the, the first one that I want to mention is, um, this one may look familiar. It may look like a different wand. It kind of just looks dirty, right? As you can see, it kind of just looks like a, like a dirty wand. It kind of looks like this wand, right? It has a very, very similar uh, design to it. But what I, what I was trying to do with this one was more of a, um, more of a, a, a more organic-y look as opposed to how this one is very straight. It has all these nice straight lines on it that run all the way all the way down, kind of like a circuit boardy type thing. But with this one, it's a similar style, right? But instead of having those perfectly straight lines, I went more with the uh, opposite of that. So just completely um, natural and all, uh, all wavy and stuff. So all these little lines were all carved in here with a Dremel, just kind of holding it on its side and just running it all the way down. Um, and then there's obviously a couple of deep grooves that run down here as well. Um, but yeah, it's a nice, simple design. Came out pretty good. Like I said, it's kind of like the, the cousin to this one right here. It definitely has the same feel to it, right? Does that make sense? Feel, can you say feel? Does, does that? Just a simple design. Uh, eventually it'll go up in the shop. I don't know when though. Things kind of just happen when it goes to the shop. So um, speaking of the shop, I want to let you guys know that if you guys, so right now I'm not taking any sort of commission work. So you can submit whatever you want to the Etsy shop. It's uh, Ender's Wands on, on Etsy. So if you want to submit something on there, first of all, I'm not going to make your um, your Pottermore wand. There's plenty of other people that will do that. So find somebody else. I'm not going to do that. Um, if you have a cool, unique idea, you can send it to me on there. I may make it. I may contact you and be like, hey, yeah, this is pretty interesting. I'll see what I can do. I, it, it, at no point am I committed to making whatever for you, okay? So just just keep that in mind. Uh, that's not the way that I work. So if I get around to it, I'll make it. If I don't, I won't make it. So it's kind of a gamble. Um, I'm not really a commission-based wand maker, so that's not my first my first thing that I'm gonna do. If I don't make your wand, don't complain about it. Um, if you have a cool idea, I'll I'll think about it. If I get around to it, I'll start working on it, all right? So if I end up, if you contact me and I'm like, hey, yeah, cool, I'll, I'll, I'll look into it. And then like three weeks go, go by, just don't complain to me about it because I don't really care. I make wands for fun and I make my wands for fun. I'm not gonna, just stop, stop complaining. All right, that's all I'm saying. If you want me to make a wand, maybe I'll make it. If you don't, then, then, I, then you don't. If you guys regularly come back for the uh, live stream on Fridays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, then you may have already seen this wand. Um, this wand is actually for one of my uh, my patrons. It's uh, for Leonard. And um, this was one of those commissioned wands. And I think it came out pretty good. He's obviously a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a darker wizard. He, had, he has shades of darks. Dark. Shades of dark. Um, so... He's not, you know, he's not the, th that was the point of this wand. It, it was kind of inspired, I believe, by um, by Severus's wand. Um, and I forgot what else, but basically he sent me a drawing and I was like, hey, can I kind of do what I want to do with it? And he was like, yeah, dude, go for it. And I was like, all right, cool. So this is what we ended up uh, coming up with. And I think it came out pretty good. This is actually purple heart here. And then we got another purple heart and then another purple heart here. And then this is black and white ebony with, I tried to pick a piece that had very little white ebony in there just so that it was um, all black ebony. And I and I made up some runes and stuff for it. It doesn't really mean anything. It just looks super nice. Um, it's a little, it's flat here and then it's rounded on this side. And I don't know, this right here is probably my favorite part of the whole wand. I think it uh, it came out Pretty dank. I mean, that's really the the only way to describe it, right? I just, I'm very proud of this. It was, this was probably one of the hard, this was the hardest wand I've ever made. I know it looks super simple, but it was 100% the hardest wand, the hardest time that I had ever making a wand. Um, probably the most uh, man hours was put into this. It was, it was tough. <laughs> but um, Leonard, this is gonna be coming to you soon. Um, I, I have your I have your stand over here. 
um, special stand for him. It's silver. They're no not normally silver. This is a special, special, super special patron specialness. A completely different system for making it silver as opposed to gold. Just completely different. Just way more work. Okay, so I'm not gonna be doing it for everybody. I feel like I'm being really mean in, the <laughs> in this video. It's like I don't care. I don't, I don't care. So I have one more wand to show you guys that is new. And that is this little guy. Look how simple it is. Look at, look at it. Look how, look how simple this wand is. It's made out of mahogany and sycamore. I know that I made another mahogany and sycamore wand in the past. And it kind of has, this kind of has inspirations from that where obviously, I mean, you can only put one piece of wood into the other one so many different ways um but i like how i did this one i think it came out pretty nifty and i'm pretty happy with it i did some obviously some engraving here to make it kind of look more natural and barky looking and then obviously there's some more going all the way down the blade here obviously it's a pommel heavy so it has most of the, you would hold it this way most of the weight in the pommel which is funny because the weight isn't technically in the pommel um it's not too much in the pommel, at least, because sycamore is super light. Um, so even though it looks like there's a lot of wood here, it's significantly lighter than this. So it's kind of weird. It's pretty balanced, um, but it's it's just definitely still pommel heavy, as in more material here, as opposed to just being heavier, more dense. Um, but I really like this one. It's very, it's very simple, and I think it came out Pretty nifty, pretty cool. Um, one of my favorite wands, to be honest with you, but also one of the more simple wands that I've ever made. Um, I don't even remember what when I came up with this design. I think I kind of went back in my in my sketchbook and just picked an older one that I had drawn like a couple weeks ago or something. I was like, ooh, I'm gonna go make this one. Originally, this is actually gonna be made out of a different piece. I was actually gonna make this, this wand completely differently. Um, and then like last minute I was like, ooh, I have an idea. I'm gonna do it this way. Mahogany is just such a cool word. It's just like mahogany. Sycamore, not so much. Fun fact, my Pottermore wand is, is sycamore, um, but my real life wand is Osage, which is not even a type of wood that I knew existed until a little while ago and I was like, dang, what's up with this? It's super orange. It's pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Now let's go over to the TBF, to be finished wand for right now that I'm working on. Um, so this one's gonna look a little weirder, right? So don't prejudge it. It'll look better once it's done. Cross our fingers, let's hope. I, I'm just kind of making assumptions here and you know what assumptions do, they, I forget, what is it again? Here it is guys, um, it's a weird looking wand, right? So it looks super fat right now, but this is how I start when I'm trying to do a one of these twists. Um, you gotta kind of start somewhere. So basically what happens is you start fat and you slowly work your way down to making it skinnier. So it's probably, this piece right here is probably gonna be about this fat and this is probably gonna be about this, so, so on and, and so forth, right? Um, but basically, I still have a lot to work to, to get down to, to make it what it's supposed to look like. Um, and then I'm gonna probably add in um, some red, fin this is actually an apple, this is apple wood. So I'm gonna add a, like a red varnish, red finish to it in some spots and then probably fading it into the wood. Maybe I'll add some burning in there too. Not sure yet, we'll see, we'll see how it ends up. Obviously it's a conventional style where you have handle, guard, blade. So it, it, you hold it very conventionally. I, I think this is gonna come out pretty cool. You can see the, the twist on there going all the way around. And then this right here is kind of bulbous -y right now, but we're gonna work that down as well. There's gonna be a divot here. And then this one's gonna be more, less dramatic than it is right now. Um, so what I'm gonna do for this is most likely I'm gonna just kind of straighten this out. And then once I have it the thickness that I want, then I'm gonna cut in the, um, the grooves here. My tip for today, it's a super simple tip. Most of you guys probably already know this if you're making your own wands. So if you wanna cut something out like basically this, 
what you're gonna wanna do is take a, um, a sanding wheel of some kind. Um, I use a Dremel for the most part. And you're just gonna basically, this is super easy guys. You're gonna be like, oh my God, super easy. You're just gonna place it right in there. You're gonna turn it on, place it right in there and then just kind of run it down. I usually kind of do a, a motion like this where I kind of go back and forth. Um, you kind of, you don't want to keep it in a spot for too long because you'll end up getting burns like this. Obviously this is the rough cut, so I don't really care right now. Um, but you want to basically go back and forth. If you move the bit too fast, if you have the bit just cranked up all the way, it's more likely to burn. Um, at least that's what I've noticed. If you have it a little bit slower, it'll obviously cut away less material, but it'll be a little bit easier to control. Um, so yeah. Hopefully I can have this one finished on the um, on the next new wands day and I can show you guys this one. Um, this is the one that I've been working on. This guy is gonna most likely be in the next video as well and hopefully I have another new wand to show you guys. All right guys, so that about wraps it up. I hope you guys enjoyed this new wands day. Let me know down below which new wand is your favorite out of these, out of these four wands here. Oh wait, no, we only got three wands. What I'm talking about out of these three is your favorite new wand. If you, if, it, if any of them are your favorite, maybe you hate all of them. I don't know. I'm not going to judge you though. You can do whatever you want. If you don't like any of them, let me know. They all suck. I don't care. All right. Ask me if I care. I don't care. I do wanna thank all of our previous patrons, but I do wanna add in a special thanks to these few top tier patrons that are helping us produce these videos. So special thanks to you guys and special, slightly less special thanks to everybody else, but we still love you, all right guys? Don't don't leave us, please, just, just don't. A new giveaway coming up for the patrons probably this weekend, we'll probably record that this weekend. Um, and we do also have plans for a 20,000 subscriber giveaway. Hopefully we get there soon. Um, so once we do that, I think I'm gonna do a, another wand giveaway for that. So hopefully you guys are excited about that. Maybe I'll do a wand, maybe I'll do a, um, like a noble collection wand, I don't know yet. Fun fact. I am going to be ordering um, a handful or two of wands from Noble Collection. How do you say a handful or two of wands? A handful or two wands. New wands are gonna be coming in soon. Um, new Noble Collection wands. And uh, hopefully those Fantastic Beast wands are released soon. I found out a couple of new things about the new wands, but we'll, we'll save that for a future video. If you wanna become patrons and have access to some giveaways and the Discord chat that we always talk to all the patrons on there, then feel free, just jump over to the Patreon page, check it out. Maybe you don't want to, just subscribe to the channel if you if you don't want to, if you, if you like us enough, you know. We do some other things, we do book stuff too. So thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, stay tuned for some more Harry Potter wand stuff coming up in the near future. If you guys have any ideas for any future videos, leave them down below as well. Thank you guys for watching. I feel like I'm rambling right now, so uh, just gonna cut it off here. Oh, gotcha. Bye, bye, bye.